only see two cards that are turned over. Four came out. But somebody's trying to keep themselves busy and distracted. And I feel like this person is keeping themselves busy and distracted because they have a lot of inner healing that they have to do. This person is stuck. But whatever they are stuck in, they are having a realization at this very moment. They having an epiphany right now. Right now. But this person is, you know, busy and distracted doing a lot of inner healing. And y'all like, well, how you know this person is doing some inner healing? Well, for one, because the goddamn cord just said they was. <laughs> <coughs> round and round, mo three. Karma come, uh, karma coming back. She going round and round. Hey, okay, so somebody going through some karma. First card that came out was the dark night of the soul. So, what you don't know that's going on in the background collective, and I don't know why the hell my goddamn blood won't stay lit. Oh, because it's probably so faint. But, what you need to know is that somebody's going through the dark night of the soul. They are definitely going through a dark night of the soul, baby. And, uh, <laughs> shit. They had a crossroad in their life, because like I said, these two, this was the last card that came out, crossroads. They definitely had a crossroads in their life, but they're currently going through the dark night of the soul. So if you're wondering why you're not hearing from this person, they busy. Spirit said they busy and distracted doing some inner healing. <laughs> they doing some inner healing, okay? This person is currently going through the dark night of the soul. This was the second card that came out. Mm. Celebration. So what's going on? There is a celebration going on. And I feel like this is a celebration going on in fucking heaven. Some of y'all could be, you know, celebrating, getting out, having fun, enjoying life or whatever. I'm going to clarify these cards, but <clears throat> there is some type of celebration going on somewhere while somebody else is going through the dark night of the motherfucking soul needing to make a decision mm, 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 about this divine feminine child so the divine and like i said these two cards <clears throat> did not turn over so it's the divine that child the divine feminine out here having fun and shit <laughs> Look, divine feminine, you out here celebrate. You you walking in blessings. You are abundant in all things. You just in a very happy place. While the person that's external to you that you deal with, this person is going through the dark night of the soul and a crossroad in their life. That's what's going on behind the scenes. Some of y'all might here feel like, you know, this person that you were dealing with is out there having fun, celebrating. Oh, no, 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 no. They busy and distracted doing some inner some inner healing because they're going through the dark night of the soul. <laughs> so, let's see. What is going on, spirit? <clears throat> but, look, see what I'm saying? Look, this person really going to come towards you with offer some type of romantic love alpha collective they do but see right now they getting karma right now they getting that old, that old karma so you're going to have to wait you're going to have to wait okay <laughs> justice is being served in your favorite look I can't make that shit up Templates. you're going to have to wait you have to be patient this person is going through the dark night right now and, and spirit said they got them busy going through the dark night of the soul don't disturb this groove. Shut up, the system. Spirit said, "Don't disturb this person. Don't disturb this person right now, because they doing some inner healing. <laughs> and if you disturb them, you know, you gonna put a halt to that old dark night of the soul that they got going on. <clears throat> Hang the sign up on the door. It said, "Don't disturb this groove." Hey, hey, spirit said, "Don't disturb this person." <laughs> Child, I'm telling you. Look, things ended between you and your person collective seriously because it's, it was time for this person to heal. Clarifying the dark night of the soul. I really just wanted one card, but three came out, child. The Tower, the Queen of Wands, and the Four of Swords. Things, Spirit knocked the foundation in this connection down because it was built 
on shaky ground. You know what I'm saying? This person, you know, you was standing in your power. You was all confident. You you was all confident. I mean, okay, I say confident twice. Okay, well, maybe you was overconfident. I don't know. <laughs> but you were in this queen of one's energy, very confident with yourself. Y'all, when I tell you the motherfucking music just went off and the, the, the my screen on this cell phone swiped left. <laughs> <clears throat> Baby, what the fuck is going on? I'm talking about my shit just stopped playing. And then swiped left. What the fuck? Okay, I, I guess Spirit is saying, yeah, I'm here. I said what I said. Your person is going through the dark night of the soul because it was time to heal. Spirit had to end it. It had to end. You was too confident for this person. You was you was shining too. Good. Look, hey, baby. look at all this yellow. Spirit said some of y'all were shining too bright to have this dark energy in your energy. You were just shining too bright. So your ancestors and your spirit guide had to step in. They had to step in because this person needed to heal. Now, I don't know what kind of healing they needed, but obviously it was important for your spirit guys to say, you know what, let's put a halt to this because this person needs to change. They they need to change. They have been going through a transformation. We know that because they've been coming out in the readings that this person is going through a transformation. But, like, for real, for real, like on some real shit, this person was sick. They were really sick like the shit that been coming out in the fucking readings is is it's funny to me because you know some of the stuff happened to me in my situation but it's funny because here you dealing with grown men grown women who do not understand right and wrong what well, they do but they didn't care they didn't believe that fat beat was crazy <laughs> they didn't because a lot of y'all were dealing with somebody who really did not believe in the spiritual like you believe in the spiritual for real. Like on some real shit, they didn't. They said they did, but they really didn't. Because if they did, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't have <clears throat> been in the energy that they were in when you dealt with them. They wouldn't have been. Look, now they're in regret. Five of Cups. Now this person is in regret. Because for a lot of y'all, myself included, we went through the dark night of the soul too. <laughs> and baby, I don't wish that on my worst motherfucking enemy. Because you can't fight the universe. You can't. You can try. But you're not going to win. <laughs> so, yeah. But it was time for this person to heal. And they in regret. Look, see what I'm saying? This is your soul, mate. This is somebody you were destined to be with in this lifetime but this person was blocking it out intentionally blocking it out when they knew the this person knew the fucking assignment but they was intentionally blocking this shit out because they were selfish they were selfish they thought they could move how they wanted to move like for real for real this is somebody who was like okay lord this is like when your child you look your child in their eyes <clears throat> before you leave for work and you tell them if I come home from work and my motherfucking dishes ain't done in that sink, I would hate to be you. And your child look back at you with that look on their face like, okay, mama, yes, ma'am. Because <laughs> they know they're going to get that ass beat if them dishes not done. That's the look your person gave God when God gave them the assignment. And guess what? They got right down here and say, shit, fuck it. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do with the nine of cups. I'm going to just do what I want to do for now. You know what I'm saying? I got enough time. And God's like, God talking to the archangels and shit. <laughs> y'all know I'm goofy, okay? I love y'all. God talking to the archangels and shit like, look at this motherfucker. This motherfucker just think they, can, they just can do whatever the fuck they want to do and, and there ain't going to be no repercussions. I'm a, I'm a, no, don't stop them yet. I'm going to see how far they going to take it. I'm going to see how far. Oh, they took it far, all right. <laughs> but guess what? Now they crying. Now they crying. <laughs> yeah, but they wanted to be selfish. They wanted to play games. Even though they had all this love for you, collective shit. They played so many motherfucking games. But now they in the dark night of the soul. 
being forced to heal. Being forced to heal because they were, <clears throat> I feel like this person, <laughs> they probably was shocked for real that some of y'all may have walked away. I feel like some of y'all walked away from this person. You were guided to walk away from this person. Whoever you are, you were guided to walk away. Even if you kept dealing with this person, <clears throat> you kept leaving that ass too. <laughs> You was the room. You was the one that was in and out because I don't. This person would have stayed and 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 kept dishing you the fuckery if you allowed it, but it was not allowed. So that's why they would leave and then they would come back and then they would leave. You know, y'all know what you did. But see, at some point, your spirit guys was like, "Look, I'm gonna tell you this shit one time and one time, motherfucking me only." If you don't end this right now, we will. Some of y'all didn't believe. <laughs> Some of y'all did not believe it. Y'all didn't take heed. So guess what? Bam. Towel. Y'all like, what the fuck? Everything was like good. The spirit said, mm -mm, no, it wasn't. Because you didn't know what was going on behind the scenes. We really protecting you. We really protecting you. We told you. Child was like, damn. But everything does happen for a reason, collective. <clears throat> what the fuck is that, child? I don't know what sign that is. But yeah, this person is dealing with a lot of regret. Because I feel like while they going through this dark night of the soul, they sitting back watching you celebrate. They watching you be happy. They watching you be joy and, you know, filled with joy. They watching you have a peace that surpasses our understanding. And even if you don't feel that way internally, that's what you show externally. <laughs> so, shit. But, you know, hey, you, you're never supposed to look like what you go through. You're not. But while y'all sitting back celebrating, this person is going through the dark night. Look, I'm telling you, three of cups in the reverse. Since freeing y'all self from a third party situation, it, it, it when it's up and it's up and it's up and it's up, shit, y'all been going up ever since y'all have released y'all self from some type of third party situation that was no longer serving you any. Child. Wasn't serving any purpose in your life. It wasn't. <laughs> I'm telling you. But now, y'all so motherfucking happy. Y'all happy. Y'all wise. Y'all child. I'm telling y'all. And this. Mm, mm, mm. And you, you at peace. You okay with where you are right now? A lot of y'all are really okay with where you are, male or female. <clears throat> it, but you see, it's a divine feminine. A lot of y'all are in this divine feminine energy. Even men can be in divine feminine energy because it's just me and you in an energy of receiving. Whatever the universe got for you, she is you ready. Look, baby, you know, God was having class and he said, she, how many of y'all want a relationship? You know, once y'all learn y'all lessons and y'all ready to be with somebody for real, for real, she is you ready. Spirit said, okay, well, I'm gonna take you through some tests. And if you pass these tests, I'm going to give you everything you want. Plus. Y'all passed the test. Because the test was to remove, know your work and remove yourself out of any type of third party situation that any motherfucking body put you into. I don't care what it is. Work, a relationship, family, whatever the case may be. You released yourself from that burden. And now you're blessed and highly favored. For real, for real. You celebrate. And this person is sitting, child. You win it. <laughs> and this person is sitting back watching it. Six of Wands. You are moving towards victory. Some of you, child. This person is, some of y'all may have an online presence. And this person sit back. Because I'm looking at how this person is reaching for this card. This person may sit back and watch some of y'all online. <clears throat> and this person see y'all winning. They see y'all winning. Yes. <laughs> they see y'all having victory. They see motherfuckers giving you attention. You being rewarded for whatever you do. Job well done. Happiness, peace, joy, sunshine. And hey, hey. <laughs> and now they want another. Now they want another chance. Broken love, child. The life I live, I see a killing. I won't say a thing. Yeah, now this person want another chance. 
Yeah. After they don't had this epiphany. Mm-hmm. Heartbroken. That's what's going on behind the motherfucking scenes. Why you celebrating, they hurt. <laughs> but that's just as they served. Because they had the opportunity. Eight of Swords. Mm, mm, mm. I'm telling y'all, no longer in the reverse. No longer stuck. Some of y'all was stuck on this for a minute. Y'all was. Y'all was stuck in this motherfucking third party cycle bullshit with this person for a while because it was in the read. You've been coming out for like over a year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Y'all was. But you're not now. You're not now. <clears throat> and like I said, you have reason to celebrate. Life is good. Again, peace has been restored. But baby, this person said they they pride may have held them back at one point. But they they ready to take action and come towards you. But spirit again is keeping this person stuck, busy, and distracted. Because they have to do a lot of inner healing. And they're gonna be stuck in this shit until they heal. <laughs> until they heal. Shit. But they they want this divine feminine. They do want you. They still want you. They still think about you, male or female. If you're in this energy, it's just the energy of being receptive. You're in the energy of love. You're in, a, in, in the energy of forgiveness. Like, for real. And this person see it. And I'm going to keep it real. Shit. Divine feminine, baby. Look, princess of, Prince of Swords. This person didn't make... And y'all, look, no, Spirit said this is y'all. Y'all not making no effort. Y'all not even making an effort to deal with this person. <laughs> y'all not even make, y'all not curious as to whether or not this person is going to come around, if they're going to call, if they're going to text, whatever. Look, you can't. I can't make it up. You focused on you, collective. You focused on you. This person is definitely stalking out on him. The, the page of Prince of Swords in the upright. Somebody who's curious, you know, <clears throat> trying to figure out something, learn something, they want, want to learn something new. Somebody who want to make the effort, but they watch you. But in the reverse, this is obsessively stalking you. They obsessively stalk you. Some of y'all online. <laughs> but baby, y'all not even trying to put no more energy into it. But it's only because you know your motherfucking work. Y'all want something new, so y'all chose to walk away from this situation with the Eight of Cups. Again, no longer feeling trapped on this situation with this person. <laughs> You're not divine feminine, but this person is stalking the fuck out of you. Collective. What, what, what you don't know. <laughs> Look, because see, some of y'all not entertaining this person at all. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. Y'all not making an effort to deal with this person, talk to this person. Spirit, and and if y'all are, Spirit is saying stop. This is what, but I feel like this is what's going on really in the background. So it's like I'm getting a perspective or I'm, we look in, into, Spirit is showing us a look into what's going on with your person. <clears throat> and Spirit is also, because I'm sure, you know, there are, uh, our opposites or our, our counterparts or our person they they probably watch because if y'all spiritual and y'all into tarot i'm sure y'all don't mention to i'm sure these people watch tarot so they probably watching me too you know what i'm saying so they have to know what's going on with you because y'all not talking remember y'all not pressed at all <laughs> that's what's going on with this divine feminine or this person in divine feminine energy some of y'all don't even want y'all don't want nothing with this person some of y'all not even trying to Talk to nobody else and sleep with nobody else. Y'all, y'all just focus mainly on y'all. <laughs> but this person is stuck at the crossroads. Meet me at the crossroads so you don't be lonely. <laughs> this person's life is at the crossroads. They broken. They abused. This this person thought they was a pimp. Uh, Mac Daddy, let me talk my shit better. I'm a big stepper. I had to, y'all don't know this. Huh? Bedroom boom, child. Look, let me make sure. Yeah, they. See, look, six of cups. This person will be back. Spirit is saying this person is coming back. Because they, I never met a person quite like you. <laughs> Someone that makes me feel love. And that's not even a song, that song. So. 
I wanna be the one that you are thinking of The one that frightens your day Hey, because there's nobody else That can do the things you do Forever I'll be there for you Hey, okay, spirit said I told you This person is coming back Spirit is saying y'all need to know this is what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, y'all moving forward. Yeah, y'all focused on y'all. You know what I'm saying? No pressure. But this person is coming back towards y'all with an offer. But it's going to be in divine timing. Everything happens in divine timing. I've been saying that this for about like six months, I think now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this person is at a crossroads. But they're coming back collected. All they think about is you. All they think about is you. But this person is busy and distracted doing this inner healing. So if y'all think that everybody person ain't healing. So some of y'all, y'all person is out there partying and having fun, fucking everything. You know what I'm saying? Leaking and sucking on everything. Some of y'all person is. Mm -hmm. But common sense to tell you that if I'm saying this spirit is saying this person coming back. I wasn't even talking to you, the, the person who say, you know, I don't want this person because this person is A, B, C, and D. That wasn't even for you. <laughs> I saw, it's like, it'd be so funny as to how many people actually say they healed. And there are a lot of people who are really healed. But then you got them stragglers who really not. Because if you get in the comments and you all capping some shit and... Every cuss word is a third. Every third word is a cuss word. Oh, baby, you pressed. <laughs> you pressed. Blah. Because if you was not pressed, you wouldn't have to put it in all caps. You wouldn't be. Like, for real. A divine feminine is not a fool. They not. They, they, as, as mighty as a lion, but as soft as a dove. The divine feminine, a, a divine, a true divine feminine, or a person in true divine feminine energy, don't hold no grudge. Is not bitter. Is not resentful. They have already forgiven. When the person walked out the door, yeah, that divine feminine cried. They cried. They acknowledged that emotion, but they forgave that person because they know that it ain't nothing that they can do. They let go and let God. <laughs> That's why they went in there. That's why they celebrating. That's why they can have this peace and these blessings and this abundance. Because the true divine feminine know her place. And it ain't about kissing nobody ass or going back. If your situation was that fucking bad where a person abused you physically, you know, they, they did. Now, every relationship gonna have ups and downs. Like, people, I don't understand why people think their relationship gonna be perfect. It's not. It's not. Shit, Moses and Sarah shit wasn't even perfect. The hell? You know what I'm saying? Adam and Eve shit wasn't even perfect. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Motherfuckers been cheating since the dawn of time. <laughs> if we gonna be real about it, like their parents just say in Ecclesiastes, ain't nothing new under the sun, baby. Cheating been happening for years since the dawn. Since God said, let there be light, baby. Motherfucker was cheating. So... What did you think? A true divine feminine though is not going to chase nobody. They're going to forgive them, but they ain't going to chase them. And that's what's going on. So there's no need to be mad. There's no need to be upset, resentful, or even in your feelings or perturbed about anything that I say. Because once again, you show where you are on your journey with what you say. Like for real. So I don't take offense. Because all I got to do is push the little button. <laughs> Makes me block. I don't care. But until you can be honest with yourself, you're going to stay stuck too. You know what I'm saying? You're going to stay stuck too. But for whoever energy this is, what's going on behind the scenes with this person and divine feminine energy, maybe they're so focused on their motherfucking self, they're not even thinking about fucking with nobody. They're not thinking about fucking with nobody. Y'all ain't even thinking about fucking with no motherfucking body. Period. Poop. At all. Y'all not. But your person thinking about being with you. <laughs> Crossroads. Child. <laughs> Look, nine of wands. I'm telling you, this person got a lot of wounds. They do. They doing a lot of healing. This person was very guarded. But very wounded. 
This is the wounded warrior. But this person don't want to give up. They don't. They don't want to give up. They know that they have. Child, child. Ooh. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Crossroads. Child. This person is not going to give up on this connection. Look, they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. They don't. This person is at this at the crossroads, and you know they at the crossroads with the person. Pop a leak, but whatever, whoever they, I'm just saying the name that I know that would be probably at the crossroads, y'all, so before you start, you know, because I don't know, I don't need to go to no crossroads, I got a spirit team, baby, they give me everything, y'all, well. but anyway, this person is praying, they, at the crossroads, they like spirit, I know I was supposed to do A, B, C, and D. But I don't want to miss this opportunity with this person in the in this divine feminine energy. So please help me. This person is screaming for help collective. They are. Because I'm not ready to give up. They they not ready to give up. They know they done did the most with the nine of damn wounds. They know. But this person is at a crossroad. It's like you either change now. It's either now or never for this person. It's either now or never. Hey, I don't know why it's just Mo3 playing. This is my playlist, though. I get, you know, because at night I do get a little crunk when I'm, you know, in my bed. <laughs> so this is my bedtime playlist, and it's a lot of Mo3. But this person don't want to miss this opportunity with you. Collective? What? What is this song? Do a bitch. Kali and Rico nasty. Ooh. No, I'm not rushing through this reading right now. My blunt keep going out because it's so fucking fat and stuffed. So just look over me. This person don't want to miss this opportunity. Like I said, I feel like spirit is killing this person. It's either now or never. And they they fight. This is somebody who's trying to persevere. Look. They fighting. This person is... <laughs> they miss you, collective. They don't want... They not ready to give up on, on whatever y'all had going. They not. Look. The end of a difficult situation. Ten of Swords. This person is definitely going through the dark night of the soul. But the ten... And then it starts right back over at the Ace of Swords. Truth. A fresh start, transformation, true transformation, and a brand new beginning. Oh, with this empress, mm, mm, mm. this person in divine feminine energy, it's gonna be a brand new beginning. Y'all don't see it, but it's not really for y'all to see. But I was sitting up here just thinking, you know, like I, I was like, well, I wonder, you know, what's going on behind the scenes, like in you know, the person who, let's say. You would deal with somebody and this person just really, really manipulated you. They really, really told your heart out your chest. You ain't heard from them. You ain't seen them, but you're stalking them. You, you, you feel like they, they live in their best life. I'm like, what type of comfort can you give these people? Or what type of comfort do you give these type of people? Spirit, I'm asking. I'm just having, a, you know, I'm saying a little, a little talk with my old guys. And they was like, well, why don't you do a reading about it? And I'm like, you know what? <coughs> I wasn't really trying to do a read, but I was like, oh, well, fuck it. I'm not doing nothing. Waiting on my hochata. <laughs> so, fuck it. Why not? But this person definitely miss you, collective. And what's going on behind the scenes is that this person is going through the dark night of the soul. Spirit. Not this person. Not, not for real. Spirit. Not this person. I'm telling you again. It's keeping them busy and distracted because they have to heal these wounds they have to do the inner healing and until they do the inner healing they gonna stay stuck i keep telling y'all child put that book they gonna stay stuck but let's see spirit what is what's going on <sighs> for real like i don't like when my blood keep going out but it is what it is i don't like it after i finish this video but what's going on behind the scenes that the collective needs to know and be aware of? Show me what I need to see. What's going on behind the scenes? And and, and again, <clears throat> when a person go through the dark night, it's a soul, y'all. 
They don't look all hoboish. They don't look all fucked up. You know, some people may look, they may wear what they going through on their face. But did you? So you don't be looking to, you know, see your person looking a particular way or acting a particular way. But just know that this is what's going on behind the scenes. Look, and this person is calling you from different numbers, playing on your phone and shit. That's what's going on behind the motherfucking scenes. And every time I get a scam like the number, I fucking block that bitch. Like, because everybody that I need to talk to is programmed in my phone. <laughs> so, what's going on behind the scenes, spirit, that the collective needs to know and be aware of? <laughs> Boom! Child. Some of y'all knew it. I, some of y'all knew it. You know what I'm saying? It been coming out in the readings. It been coming out. Somebody faked the whole motherfucking pregnancy. And then if it, if they were pregnant and the baby did come forth out of the, out of that little twat, it wasn't your person's. Mm -mm, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> this person faked the whole pregnancy to keep your person around. Mm -mm -mm. Male or female. Did. <laughs> The fuck? Like I said, Spirit said y'all need to know what's going on behind the scenes. But it been coming out in the readings. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Black magic. Love spell. Low vibration. Baby, whoever your person has been dealing with, they've been like the the entire time they've been dealing with them. The, and I feel like it's been the entire time they have been dealing with this person. They probably going to practitioners and shit. Child. They could have been, you know, throwing black magic and spell work your way. You know. Child. Mm, mm, mm. Child. And who big man is whatever third party was dealing with your person. They 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 mad. They not a little mad. They big man. Angry, upset, annoyance, displeasure, or hostility, full of anger. I'm mad as fuck. I can't even be mad at you. It's him. Can't be mad at the motherfucking divine feminine. You can't. No better to be perturbed with the divine feminine. You can't be. They know it was your person. They know it was your person. But it was them too. Because they was in a low vibration. They damn self. Doing spell work and shit. Paying for spell work. Faking pregnancies and shit just to keep them Sad. Sad. But some people desperate like that, y'all so real. They kill. Some people so desperate to keep people in their life that they no need they need to let go. <laughs> Look, you don't know what we've been through. Mm, mm, mm. And I'm sure they have been through some things with all the lies and, and, and spell work that's been played out in this connection. Shit, they probably have been through a few things. But I guarantee you, your person is realizing the truth about this person, the situation, the whole thing. And they they realize the truth. Look, child support increase on deductions. Hmm. <clears throat> For some of y'all, your person thought this was a child and then they got into it it's not my fault. I told you, they, they know it's not your fault. But some of y'all need to know it's not your fault. But some of y'all, y'all person didn't find out until that the baby was not theirs if the, if a baby was born. Until this person took them to court to get child support. Oh, child. Yeah. Baby, let me get out the crunk music and go to the, you know. Because they don't, while well, I'm doing my reading, y'all know. I like to listen to slow music. That's kind of like too crunk right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be winding down. But yeah, for some of y'all, baby, they probably had an argument, broke up or something, stopped talking to each other, and the bitch was like, well, bitch, I'm going to put you on child support. Nigga like, fuck it, I don't give a damn. Male or female, put it where it go. And your person was with it. They didn't give a fuck. They just don't do it. They get to the courthouse, shit, the judge was like, well, um, uh, we see we got the case with, you know, whatever, you know, Jonathan and Teresa, da 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 and, and you know, and 
it's monthly child support, everything gonna been agreed upon, and they well let's look and see, you know, the the DNA results. Child. <laughs> the judge even was shocked, like, whoa, child. look, I can't make it up. The judge was even shocked collective. They like, ooh, mm, mm, mm. Options and choices, more than one. I'm sure you have option two. He's not the only one in your life. Ooh. So, judge was like, well, Jonathan, when it comes to Jacory and such and such, you know, be keys or whatever, the DNA test results show that you are 99.9% .9 not the father. <laughs> And your person was like, what? <laughs> they hurt. I ain't gonna act like they not hurt. They hurt. But they supposed to be. This is part of that dark night of the soul. Child. Intriguing. Look. Mm, mm, mm. And see what's going on behind the scenes is motherfuckers have been doing spell work and throwing evil eyes your way collective simply because they can't read you. They can't figure you out. You too intriguing. You too mysterious. They can't pinpoint nothing about you, about your character, about your personality, nothing. You're mysterious. There's something about you that he likes. And whoever this third party is that's doing this black magic, they watch you to try to copy you, but they just can't do it. Mm. Look, family members have opinions about your connection. Mm. They probably do. But that's half the damn problem right there because what's been coming out in the readings is that there's a masculine energy or somebody in divine masculine energy who listened to their fake ass family and friends. And that's what got them fucked off to begin with. Trying to appease them and please them and do what they think is best for him instead of making the decision for they damn self. You know what I'm saying? Child. But this person, whoever this third party is, they can't even be mad at your collective and they not. They, they can't be, but they not. You know what I'm saying? Controlling behavior, including giving unwanted advice, ordering or withholding money for affordable expenses in order to control. See what I'm saying? And whoever this person is they dealing with, all they do is, if your person is dealing with somebody who take care of them, what this person do is control them with that money. Like, got them on a motherfucking string, you hear me? And, and the person, the third party, mad as fuck because they feel used. They know that they really just paying this person to be with them. They know. They know. They're not stupid. Look, because see, <laughs> that, that hoe over there, night work or stripper, the person, they could even be somebody who, you know, sell they sell. Work for money, sick child. But this is what it is. This is the kind of relationship your person had with that third party. It was sex in exchange for money. And it just got out of hand because you, whoever this third party is wanted your person so bad that they did black magic to keep him. But it was an insecure ass tactic. It wasn't clearly thought out. Spirit said it wasn't thought out. Because though you didn't know spear work was being used, they did. <laughs> they knew. The fuck did this person think was going to happen? They thought they was just going to be able to do the spell work and everything was just going to go good. That shit is backfiring like a motherfucker. Everything that they meant for you is happening to them. Look, falling in love is easy. Staying in love isn't, child. Yeah. This child of beautiful soul speak in love and kindness and encourage others to become their own version of beautiful. See, this is what a divine feminine energy person would do and, and be. They wouldn't be angry and upset to look. You and your person are at a distance. But this person can't stop thinking about you and neither can the third party. The third party constantly competes with you collective. They compare themselves to you all the time. I find myself comparing myself to you all the time child i use him for money because he lets me yes i'm a gold digger money hungry vulture laughing my ass off and if your person was the one who had the the bread they being used they being used but it's karma it's karma it's a part of this dark night look what is he seeing seeing you that he don't see in me this person is definitely threatened by the divine feminine <laughs> They in denial. They feel like, oh, I can beat the divine feminine. This person is in denial. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. 
because they realize and recognize that that person don't want them no more. They they know that person don't want them no more. Look, they just love. Uh. <laughs> and now this third party gonna want revenge because your person is not dealing with them, or they going they won't be for long. Look, a conclusion, a resolution reached after consideration. I'm telling you, your person at this crossroad, but they finna leave this third party, and baby, that third party finna be hot. I ain't even finna, I don't even have to say no more. The third party finna be hot as fuck, but they can't even be mad at you. They gonna be mad at this person. <clears throat> but that person is letting that shit go. They letting it go. They tired of the community. They tired. And like I said, that dark night of the soul, baby. That shit, ooh, that's the worst pain. Because when your truth starts slapping you, you can't run. Because that's your truth. That spirit. That's that conviction, baby. The conviction of the Holy Spirit is something that can't no motherfucking body match. Not you, not me, not them, not him, not she, shim, none of them. <laughs> oh, okay. Bars. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> when when he slap you, you going to feel that shit. That's what that dark night do. Look, differences in sexual drives and desires. And that's in the reverse. Look, child. See, it was differences in what you and this person wanted, but not anymore. Now y'all want the same thing, but see, this person is stuck. <laughs> and what? And why they stuck? Healing. Yeah, they they feel it. Mm, mm, mm. Telling you, behind the scenes, spirits say behind the scenes. Yeah, they with a karmic soul, mate. But that person is a whole hope that's very insecure. You got this person deep. I promise you, that person gonna leave them. Your person gonna leave them. They going through the, whatever it takes to make you happy, baby. Yeah, this person is ready to do whatever it takes to make you happy. They ready to do whatever it takes to make you happy. Child, let me turn that down. So let's see. <clears throat> Before I get ready to close this out, spiritual, what I need to see. What's, okay, what's hitting that need to be? Shit, these motherfuckers just flew. Look, so contract. Ah, shit, that. <laughs> You are under a soul contract with someone. Twin flame, soulmate, karmic, <laughs> whistleblower. Mm -hmm. Someone can't keep a secret, runs off and tells your business, exposed information, and a fan. Oh, child. Can't keep your name out of their mouth. Doesn't know you, but obsessed about with, um, obsessed with your life. This is the third party. This person feel like this person could be. I'm hearing spreading rumors, mm -hmm. trying to spread rumors about you. This person can't be mad at you, but they they low key is mad at you because they know that they are karmic to your person. <laughs> Look, I told you, and they not little mad, they big mad. Y'all know I don't make this shit up. They big mad. So what's going on? What's what's hidden? What's going on behind them? The surface under the surface that the collective look look see low key that your person is not fucking with this person they under the radar not giving yourself away being to yourself not causing attention your person is like probably in hiding from this person <laughs> from this damn karmic look fake flexing child and if you are seeing your person or this third party let's say y'all not y'all all know of each other or y'all all stay in the same neighborhood or something the same town or something <clears throat> these people are fake flexing and faith even as soon as i get home and guess what i feel like it's the third party who fake flexing third party fake flexing y'all for real for real look you could be an earth sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or this per the third party could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But that person is just, they man, I'm telling you, and they just want to start some drama. They want to start some drama. But what y'all need to know is that they fake flicks, look, and that they hating on you because you done glowed the fuck up. Child, they your fan. Look, it's right above me. Child, the third party is your biggest fucking fan. Oh, child. Look. A user only liking people for money, primary interest in material benefits. Yeah, I feel like this is what y'all were dealing with somebody who was a gold digger and who you know was very lustful and you know they would fall into temptation easily, and that's why y'all bumped heads. But I feel like now this person don't want to let you go and they just stalking your ass. 
on the internet <laughs> because they sorry. They want to tell you that they sorry so motherfucking bad. But spirit is blocking this person from coming towards you. I can't make it up with legal issues. This is God making this person go through this dark night of the soul. She with that legal issues. Look, I'm telling you because they so fucking disappointed in this person. And again, this person is just trying to cause chaos with whatever they tell you because er is communications. Whatever this third party is trying to say they just trying to start drama so spirit is saying make the right decisions if you do talk to this person but child this child this spirit is saying y'all don't even have to worry about what's going on with your person because this person is coming home they coming towards you they are coming towards you but they have to go through this karma they got the justice got to be served child it got to be there's no look talking and then Cupid's arrow. Yeah, this person want to tell you that they in love with you collective. And they will be. They will be telling you that they are in love with you soon enough. <laughs> soon as they do all this healing. Look, I told you I want to be more than friends. So, there's a message from this person to myself that's hidden that the collective may not know. Show me what I need to see. See, my message from this person. <laughs> so many things remind me of you. I told you this person can't stop thinking about you. I hid who I really am from you. Mm. Yeah, thanks. They did, but they they regret me. They regret me. See, the timing just wasn't right for us, and they knew it. Look, I said timing. Yeah, everything happened in divine timing. But this person is coming back towards you. They are. They miss you. And this. This is actually what's going on behind the scenes. Somebody is using spell work to keep your person bound. It's not going to work. They faked the pregnancy or they found your person found out that a baby was not theirs. Um, there is a karmic that is big mad that this person is leaving them, that this person used them. But it is what it is. Look, I can't make it up. It's time for me to heal now, baby. Don't be telling me my spirit guys don't know what they talking about. Hmm. I couldn't let you get close to me. Mm. We will be together again. I lost myself for a little while, baby. I'm gonna end it on that. Look, I'm starting to understand our connection, baby. Mm, mm, mm. But you know, hey, it is what it is. Collective. Final message for the collective. What's hidden spirit that they need to know and be aware of? Show me what I need to see. What's being hidden, baby? I miss you. Mm -hmm. I miss you. I just want to kiss you. Hold you in my arms. As soon as I get home. It just wasn't the right time for you and this person. This person is healing. Spirit is making this person heal. And you know, whatever they do, they probably are out there dating people, talking to people, whatever. If they, so what? You do it too. I ain't saying sleep with nobody. You don't have to sleep with nobody. You don't have to fuck nobody to have fun and go out and enjoy yourself. This person doing their thing. Shit, y'all do y'all thing. Don't just be sitting at home waiting on no motherfucking body. Even if you don't go out on no date or nothing, go just go somewhere. Have some drinks, shit. Even if you do it by yourself. Look, pick. someone is going through tough times and wants you to experience the same Bang, baby, see, I'm telling you, some of y'all, somebody's throwing energy your way to keep you stuck. Get out and do something. Somebody's throwing a pity party and they want you to experience the same thing. I feel like it's the third party. I don't feel like it's your person. <laughs> I think it's the third party. And they want you to feel exactly what they feel. So go out and do something. Shit. Right now, your person is, you know, under divine judgment. <laughs> And Spirit done said it multiple times in this reading. Love attacks. Someone is attacking your love relationships. They want to disrupt all areas of your love life, platonic and romantic. Baby, like when I tell you this third party is they they trying it. They doing it. I'm telling you, collective, this person doing spell work. They paying for spell work. They doing evil eyes, all of that because they want you to feel as bad as them. They want you to be blocked in love like them. They want you, they doing submission magic so you, you know, you'll, they'll be able to control you. But it's not going to work. You're a divine feminine. Yo, yo, you, you radiate too high for spell work to hit. I'm tempted. Someone is so obsessed with you to the point where they cannot stop thinking about you. I'm telling you. 
So just know, these people are obsessed with you. The third part is obsessed with you. Your person is obsessed with you collective. And it's because you are celebrating. You walking in a, a time of blessings and abundance. Like I said, and you at peace. Y'all just, y'all giving to y'all self. Y'all are like just loving y'all self. Which is a beautiful thing. But these people, your person is not really tripping about it. They know, you know, what why you doing what you're doing. But this third party, baby. Look, mirror, someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror image of you. Like I said, baby, you can't compete when you don't compare. I say it all the time. This person find themselves comparing themselves to you. They doing mirror magic to be like you. They doing mirror magic to steal love from you because they fixated on you collective. They all, I'm telling you, this person constantly sends you motherfucking evil eye. So get your protection up. I feel like a lot of y'all already protect. Look, hip attacks. Someone is trying to negatively affect your health, either physically or mentally. Mm. Protect black tourmaline, Palo Santo. You know what I'm saying? Talk too much. Some will tell on themselves and reveal their true feelings and intentions towards you. So just know that everything that I feel like this person is doing, this third party is doing. That's too many. Everything that this third party is doing is basically basically backfiring. Look, competition magic cannot make it up. Someone feels the need to compete against you. That is their motive for the things they do. Look, healing energy work. The work you have done on yourself has worked. The negative energy is dissipating. Like I said, you radiate too motherfucking high for this shit to work. But that don't mean these people, this person or whoever they are, whoever the third party is, it don't mean that they're going to stop doing it. But this shit is going on behind the scenes that you need to know of. It's some real spiritual battle going on. And y'all in it. Y'all may not think that this is a spiritual battle, but it is. It is. Power transparency. You have either given up your personal power or someone has taken it from you. Withdrawal. You are moving on past those who have issues with you. It no longer matters to you, baby. Y'all better work than she. So let's get some of these. <laughs> I wish a bitch would messages, and we gonna end it right there with, cause baby, y'all got a third party who is like I said, perturbed. And then your person they going through the dark night of the soul, so that means they going through a lot of bullshit with this third party, especially if they still if they in the same household. Oh baby, it is horrible. It is fucking horrible. And the third party is so mad at this divine feminine because they know that everything that they try everything that they doing is not working. Everything is backfiring. Because you radiate too high. So they better stop doing it. Give me three messages to end the reading with spirit for what's going on behind the scenes. I have to me so I'm be aware of. Show me what I need to see. Give me three messages to end the reading. For what's going on behind the scenes that the collective need to know and be aware of thank you okay so the first card says how are you on the internet spewing your hate acting like you a diva and pretending so great when I know what a trick ass bitch you really are and how you're truly a B rated oh, <laughs> some of y'all baby y'all know this person don't this person, even on a bad day, this person don't stand nowhere next to you. <laughs> even that's why they so obsessed with trying to be you, baby. They got their friends, they mama, they uncle, they aunties, they brothers, they sisters, they little fuck buddies, they little stripper buddies. They got everybody watching you so they can try to be you collective. But they could never be you. They could never be you. They could never. How are you on the internet spewing your hate, acting like you a diva and pretending so great, child? You, but you hate. When you done already said, I know it's not your fault, it's him. So why you hating on the divine feminine? Third party. Hmm. When I know what a trick ass bitch you really are and how you're truly a A, B rated star. Baby, you can't compete when you don't compare. The, that's what the divine feminine says. Spirit said, that's what y'all need to know. This third party can't compete with no motherfucking empress. They can't. <laughs> Instead of being triggered by my blow up. Oh, oh, oh. What? What? 
instead of being triggered by my blow up, why don't you look at yourself and see how much, wait a minute, instead of being, oh, they, like they be trying to rhyme, which is fine, but you know, still, instead of being triggered by my blow up, why don't you look at yourself and see how you can glow up? Child. Child. Divine feminine. Stop, bitch, stop looking at me. Stop throwing hate my motherfucking way, bitch, and see how you can be like me. You can't be me, but you, all you gotta do is raise your vibration, bitch. That's what you gotta do. Look, a physical and mental transformation for the better. Looking yourself in the mirror and making a change. Bitch, change. That's how you glow the fuck up. You go the extra mile to be better than you are in the current moment. Child. Final message. Any, many, many, mo. I really want to choke a bitch, so you know. But I know better, so I would do better and let karma fucking get her. Oh! <laughs> and that's exactly what's happening. Karma is getting her. All right, y'all. I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading.